Hello, welcome back. I'm Roxanne and this is Everything About Hallmark. It's Sunday and I have a prediction video for you. Since you're here, click that button and subscribe and then click the bell and the word all for notifications. Okay, now before I can move on with new predictions, I have to revisit last week. So I was talking about what we know and I showed this picture here. And as you can see, Lorian, who was a utility actor, she is a stand-in for all of the female actors. I was saying that she was just a stand-in for Elizabeth and I was incorrect. So she, they have one utility actress, which is Lorianne. She stands in for all of the females. And then they have one utility actor, which is Ryan, and he stands in for all the males. So this makes this picture really interesting. So, or photograph. So I'm gonna show the photograph again. Before I was thinking, why would Elizabeth be there? What do, what's going on? What could the possibilities be or the scenarios? Now this makes much more sense because Lorianne could be standing in or sitting in as she is here for, let's say, Fiona. Fiona would have every reason to be in some type of legal matter, whether it be this is the courthouse now, we're not quite sure if, or if it is maybe the mayor's office, but whatever it is, some type of a legal matter with, of course, Lucas, who is on his way, and also um, Henry Gallen, because Martin, he's the one who posted these pictures. So he added Chris, so we know he's on his way. So that would make sense because she and Mike are very much involved in the oil business. So something legal is going down. Now, the other possibility could be that it is uh, Rosemary because she's probably got her hand into many things and is investigating many things. But I'm banking on that it is Fiona. So I'm thinking that something's going to happen legal wise with the um, the oil business. And, and you know what? That's like a no brainer. That's like me being, like I say, sometimes Captain Obvious, which makes way more sense than it being Elizabeth. So thank you for correcting me. And um, I have to point that out. That's a teacher in me. I can't just roll with it. I have to explain. All right. So now um, let's talk about Robert in this photo. This is a behind the scenes photo. I think Peter um, DeLuise, I think he's the one who um, posted it. Actually, I know he did. And he talks about um, Robert having a new mailbag. Now, when we last saw Robert in season eight, he had all kinds of jobs and one of them was delivering the mail. But also we saw him pop up and he was babysitting for little Jack. And Lucas made the comment was like, weren't you just delivering mail? He goes, yes, but I'm trying to save up for a horse. So of course, it's obvious that he's continuing with the whole mail service and he has a new mail bag. So he's like the town mailman. And I'm wondering if because he's delivering the mail, he was even delivering the newspapers for Rosemary. I'm wondering if he sometimes is going to hear or overhear stuff. So there was a picture of or a photograph that was shared of Robert with Weinman and they met up in the uh, center of town. It could have just been a shot that the two actors were there, but I don't know. I'm wondering if because he's out and about Robert in the town, he overhears and he sees things. And you know, he has that whole thrill inside of him of becoming a Mountie. So maybe he's doing a little of his investigating on his own, I'm not quite sure. But what if he um, winds up in danger because he's there, you know, delivering the mail, as I said before, he's in the center of town, he sees a lot of people, he's hearing a lot of things. And I find that to be like a really fun, not that I want anything to happen to Robert, but a really fun storyline to unfold, especially with his connection with Allie. They have a little romance there. And then Nathan, because you know, Nathan was mentoring Robert. And then of course, that's, there's that whole dynamic of Robert and Allie getting together. And I think we're going to see more of, instead of an uncle side of Nathan coming out, more of a dad figure. He's going to want to protect his daughter, but he's also, you know, he knows that Robert's a good guy. So I think there, there's going to be a cute storyline that involves those three as well. But um, there's going to be some, I know I keep saying danger, but I feel like Robert's going to have something exciting happen to him and not just, you know, he's moving on um, and delivering the mail and getting, uh, you know, adult jobs and it's going to have a little side romance. I feel like there's going to be more to it. 
Okay, now let's talk about this photo here. What we have here is from um, Carrie Wheeler's uh, site or Instagram account. She posted a picture of Aaron, who plays our beloved Jesse, and said that she was excited for him because he was just uh, cast in a like um, a guest appearance or a guest role on a sweet little or a sweet new um, series that was picked up for a second season. And this was like in late May. Then the next time she posted it, like about a month later, he was a major guest recurring role, seven out of the 10 scenes. And I'm thinking, hmm, we haven't heard anything about him at all. Um, we haven't seen any behind the scenes of his character or Clara's character with Eva. So I'm wondering if Eva and um, Aaron are going to be in When Hope Calls. Now, I had contacted Carrie and I had said I would love to have Aaron on to talk about, you know, his upcoming roles and to celebrate. And she said, you know, she's thanked me, but she said he can't. He's not even allowed to talk about them yet. He, They could announce it, but it was hush hush. So it was all unraveling. And then little by little, we found out that When Hope Calls was going to be on GAC. We found out that Lori was going to be on. Then they mentioned Daniel. So they've been doing these surprises all along. And, you know, let's face it, Clara is the daughter-in-law of Abigail. So when they're out on their trip, you know, enjoying their second honeymoon, they could very well stop by and visit with Abigail and then wind up staying. Seven out of 10 episodes is a pretty big deal. So I am thinking, I really am thinking that the two of them are going to wind up over in um, When Hope Calls. Let's see. That's just my prediction. I don't think that Aaron is just like totally off, you know, anything that has to do with Hope Valley, you know, I think he's still connected in some way. Now, this photograph here, if you blow it up and you look right in the center, it's a night shot that Peter shared, you're going to see that what looks or appears to be like a 1920s, 1918s uh, fire truck, like a fire wagon. And because right before that, Pascal had posted a picture or a little video clip and she said, we're going out with a bang and the whole cast was there. Um, I'm like, oh, fire truck now. After she made the comment, we're going out with a bang. When she first said the um, we're going out with a bang, I thought she was referring to the entire cast being there and they were having a big party. And you know, that's just a figure to figure of speech. You know, it doesn't always necessarily mean there's going to be something explosive. But then the fire truck shows up and it's located in a spot where we're not quite sure because it's all covered up. So is there a fire or an explosion with the saloon or is it across the way where the vo uh, the Valley Voices, where Lee is working because the Valley Voice is in there? Or is it something to do with the jail because they're all right there? Or possibly could it be that a vehicle blows up, someone goes to start it? So there are a lot of scenarios there. Now, why would that even happen? So one, we know that Lucas is very prominent, um, Fiona, Mike, um, Gowan, they're all involved in this oil business. So it could be something that has to do with that. It could be that, um, you know, with the Valley Voice and Rosemary that she's snooping and finding things out that she shouldn't. And then the police, it could be something out in front of the police station because someone could be in jail. It could be a way to like get them, break them out of jail or be a distraction of some sort. And then we also see that there's quite a bit of vehicles in Hope Valley. I've talked about this many times before and they could have something explosive in there and go to turn it on and boom, kapow, it blows up. So I'm really thinking that there's definitely some type of fire or explosion. I don't think it's going to be a cliffhanger that we don't know where what happens next because they don't usually do cliffhangers. And I think we're going to find out what it is, but I think that whatever this explosion is, it's going to cause, like, it's going to be a catalyst for people to make some major decisions in their lives. Like, maybe spark someone to say, like Lucas say to Elizabeth, you know what, we almost lost each other. Why are we waiting? We should go and get engaged. Let's run away now, or let's or run away and get married, or let's get engaged. 
or um, there could be other storylines that are going on and it makes people come together saying like, you know what, what are we doing here? We're bickering over something ridiculous. Um, we, we need to get back together. So I feel like even though there's going to be an explosion and it's dangerous, it's going to somehow reunite many of the uh, t townspeople and whatever storyline is going on. Okay, a lot of good stuff is going to happen. I know we're getting so close and so excited. Um, this is like my one more. I have one more prediction video after this. It has to do with behind the scenes. And then I'm going to switch it up and do something a little more analytical with each of the characters the closer we get to season nine. Because like I said, there's all, there are only so many scenes that we can, you know, analyze and predict unless they start they make the announcement of when um, the new season starts and maybe they show some clips as advertisements and we see a little bit more. So then I might be able to predict from there, but I don't think so. I think, you know, this has run its, run its, run its course. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Um, next week. Oh my goodness. Next week, I have even more guests that are coming on, but I don't want to announce it yet. But please tune in tomorrow because we have Wes. Wesley Salter, Salter, he is coming on and he is, oh my God, what a great character. Of course, you know, he is the, someone I think Jillian from Luca Beth Lounge, I think she said he's the character we love to hate and she's banking on him in the end, turning out to be a good guy. Now, of course, you know, we're not pumping him for information. Any of us that are going to be tuning in, we're not allowed to ask about season nine. They have, you know, an agreement where they can't say anything. However, we are going to analyze his character of Wyman and we're going to talk about um, all his other stuff. So, so tune in. All right. You have a good one. Bye.